What's that? What you got there? What you, what you doing? What's coming up? With? Wait, what's still going on? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's Zelda. Link to the past. So this is always brought up when we're talking about the greatest Zelda games of all time. You usually compare it to Ocarina of Time. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of Ocarina of Time than this game. But that's because this game is super fucking short. Now, as we all know, this game is about the adventures of Chapu. So that's what we put in for the name. There's no other choice, really. You always have to put in Chapu. That one up there says Lemming, but that's not... You don't. That's not real. I made that up. So it starts off like all Zelda games. Well, most Zelda, well, some Zelda games. Okay, well, it starts off like this Zelda game does. She's kidnapped. Go find her. So obviously your uncle goes out and does it. The end. Okay, well, not really, but... Can I just point out something? There's two people in this house, and there's one bed. Right now, Link's sleeping. Does he just, does the uncle just sleep at the table, or is something else going on here? Because that's very questionable. So you hop out of bed and you follow him. He tells you not to, but would you listen to a man with that kind of mustache? It just screams, creepy uncle. That and the whole one bed thing is not really helping his case any. So uh, you follow Chester to Molester's trail all the way up to the castle. And he's dying. Good job, Uncle. You really helped out. But thanks for the sword and shield. And at least you won't touch me at night anymore, so I have that to look forward to. Silver lining. So you make your way out through the castle. Do some light gardening on the way. I'm sure the princess will appreciate that once I rescue her. And uh, avoid these guards that have less line of sight than Metal Gear Solid guards. And make your way inside the castle. And avoid these guards because they're still blind. And then you have a nice fun little jump off there, but then I pause and quit because I'm scared of heights. Then you reload your game. Creepy uncle's gone. He's probably a zombie now, wandering around somewhere, touching people. And make your way back through the garden again. Fuck you! Now I'm gonna go over here because heights are scary and I like railings. And, uh, this guy needs to be distracted, so I made a nice little noise. He runs towards me with a sword because he's crazy. And now I'm through the wall. So, that's cool. Going a nice little adventure over here. Can't see myself. Don't know where I am. Ah, oh, look at that. They got a little, little nice little color scheme going on there. You can see the top of my head. Hmm, I don't like that room. It's dark and scary. Let's go back. Yeah, let's just keep going past these guys. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. By the game's too freaking short. I mean, God. Look, I'm going past all these rooms already. Oh, we're in a boss room. Scary bosses. Ah, oh, no, he's throwing a pitchfork at me. I win. Now nobody can see I didn't finish a Let's Play. Welcome, Chapu. I am the Triforce. Ah! Triangles! The Triforce will grant your greatest wish. I wanna be a bunny rabbit! Uh... Okay... This is awesome! So that was my Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I told you it was short, and you probably didn't believe me. But uh, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe, click the like button, watch these other videos. Bye!